Hi, Bran here, and today we're going to be discussing how you may be inducing gen rushing, because not all the time is that the survivor's fault. A lot of the time, it could be your fault. So we're going to be talking from the chest here. This could be another unscripted video. So I hope you enjoy these little commentaries. But let's get into it. So, so the idea that gen rushing is a thing that survivors intentionally go out to do is something that does happen, I think. I think that's something that honestly does happen. I think that's a very, very real thing that sometimes survivors do intentionally go out of their way to intentionally get out of the match as quick as possible. And I think this is indicated uh, very, very clearly, very, very clearly by things like at the beginning of the match, they're bringing a bunch of toolboxes. Like if you see two to three toolboxes, I think in a match, it kind of indicates before the match begins that they want to get out of there as quick as possible. And depending on what add-ons they brought after the fact too, like if they bring brand new parts and stuff like that, it's very obvious. They wanted to get out of the match as quick as possible. Also, you can check their perks after the match. If they if there's a bunch of prove thyself and stuff like that, like obviously they wanted out of the match as quick as possible. But, but, what? But, I'm going to be posing the question to you. You as the killer, what are you doing that's causing the gen rush to happen? A lot of people think of this idea of gen rushing, and they don't really think of it as like anything that could possibly be their fault but actually a lot of gen rushing in my opinion is very 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 killer induced so i'm gonna be playing a video over here on the left for you that of a match i had on my survivor friday uh this friday on my twitch page um on my twitch so that's gonna be there for you uh in this match in this match this is a demogorgon player uh who decided that uh in this match they were going to target one person on the team Hook them, tunnel them off, off hook every single time, and after they tunnel them off hook every single time, essentially tunnel them out of the game and get them dead super early into the game. So, when you're in that situation as a survivor team, the killer decided instead of pressuring the whole map, instead of pressuring the whole team, I'm going to take one person. I'm going to take one person. I'm going to make sure they are not allowed to play the game. I'm going to take one survivor out of the game, and I'm just going to hang out by hook. I'm not going to pressure gens. I'm not going to walk around the map. I'm not going to interact with other survivors. I'm going to make sure this one survivor is dead. I'm going to make sure this one survivor can't do anything. I'm going to put them on the hook, and I'm going to wait till somebody comes and saves them, and then when somebody comes to save them, I'm just going to down them straight off that hook. What exactly are the other survivors supposed to do in that situation? This person in this game was very angry, calling us a whole lot of names, being very, very frustrated, uh, cursing at us, saying we were doing things to the gen, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so, but like, what option do you leave your survivor team when you hook somebody, camp them on hook, and then when anybody comes for the save, you say, no, this person's just going right back on the hook. You're not allowed to save. You're not even allowed to save. You're not even allowed to heal. You're not allowed to do anything. What is left on the map? What is left on the map to do? You're, you can't run with the killer. The killer's only interested in running and chasing one person. They're only interested in running and killing one person. You can't go for the save because the killer is guarding the save. And even if you get the save, they're just going to tunnel the person that comes right off. You can't go heal that person because if you stay to try and heal them, they're just going to tunnel them off hook. And nobody else is injured on the team because he's only focusing one person. So you can't even go heal other teammates. So there's no altruism plays to make. What is left on the map to do? What is there left on the map to do? Only objectives. There is only objectives left on the map to do. That is the only thing that there's left on the map to do. That is the only thing you have left us with the ability to do. Because you said, no chases. I'm not going to chase you until this person's dead. So we're not having chases. Uh, no altruism plays because I won't let you save this person or heal them. I'm just going to tunnel them out of the game. They don't get to play. So what else are we supposed to do? And don't you dare say totems. Don't you say totems. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to all do the gens. Because you've showed us that we are not allowed to play the rest of the game. That in your mind, the way that you wanted the game to go was that the three of the other survivors don't get to do anything. They do not have an option. They do not get to play. The only thing they can do is the objective. But then they, people get mad. This person got very, very angry. This person got furious with us. This person got furious with us. They were calling us every name in the book. Because we gen rushed them. We gen rushed but he didn't give us much of a choice. He didn't give us an option. He didn't give us an option to do literally anything else. All he did was force us to do gens. And that's what, that is the correct counter, by the way. When a killer decides that they are going to tunnel one person on the team, even if it's your friend, the, the optimal choice is to do the generators. Because essentially, mathematically, which is another funny thing, he said the math made sense 
for why he was tunneling. But the math here says that if one person's contribution to the team has now been eliminated, you got to pick up that slack on the generators, on the objectives. You got to pick up the slack because one person is not putting out that work. So everybody else on the team has to do one third more work. They do to make up that fourth person. They do. They just have to. That is how that works. <laughs> so, so we did. And we rushed generators. The moment that person died, the moment my friend died on hook because, you know, he decided that tamp uh, camping and tunneling was the way to go there. Uh, he just put somebody in the basement and continued the same process. He would, he hooked them and then he would walk away and then teleport right back using de demos undetectable to try and like fake that he wasn't doing that. But I had a kindred, so I knew that's what was happening. And he didn't commit to a chase with somebody else until like the other person had hit second phase. It was very, very intentional. So we just did gens. We just did generators and we ended up getting out. We ended up getting out. Why? Because you left us with no other option. You left us with no other ability. This guy, this guy talked for like another hour on his stream about how upset he was that we rushed those gens. Calling us every name in the book and calling us boring and much worse things. Much more mean and callous and bullying, actual straight up bullying. <laughs> like much, much worse things. Because of a situation that he caused. And he just had zero awareness. Zero awareness of this situation was caused by him. So this is both for survivor and for killer knowledge here. For killer, if you feel like you're being gen rushed, think about the way you're playing and how that is, how the survivors are supposed to be reacting to this. Like if you are targeting one person on the team and only putting pressure on one person on the team, what is the rest of the team supposed to do? You may be the reason the gen rush is happening. It may not be intentional. It may just be an adjustment based on the fact that you're not putting pressure on the whole map. You're not putting pressure on the whole team. You're just putting pressure on one person. So the other people don't have anything to do besides old M1. So that's not their fault, that's yours. And for Survivor, if somebody is being left on hook and they're being camped and the survivors or the killer is just tumbling them off hook, the right answer is to just gen rush. The reason that is is because, like I said, you gotta make up for the, that is a fourth person that had contribution to that match. Whether that be totems, saves, gen progress, now that person's just out and the game is built for that fourth person to be there to contribute that's why killing somebody is so important in the game so you gotta pick up the extra slack you do have to rush the gens you just do you have to put in that extra extra time to make up for the time on gens lost because that person is just dead so you're not doing the wrong thing you're not doing something immoral we're not following a killer handbook now you're just you're, you're just trying to make up for the fact that somebody's gone <laughs> and and make up that time okay so think about that the next time you think that gen rushing is happening, are you the one causing it? And on the survivor side, if somebody is doing these things, the correct answer the correct answer is to gen rush, and you are totally doing the right thing. So hopefully this was good. This was fruit uh, food for thought, and now you know have a better perspective on these situations and when these happen. So I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, friend. I don't think anything else for you. Bye bye.